Anyway, we're gonna start off with Miss I May. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss May I. I literally, I've always done that all my life. I've known of this band for quite a while. I've only heard, I guess, one song. Um, but I've always called them Miss I May. I have no idea why. But yeah, they came out with a new, like, Redux album, apparently, for their, I think, debut album. Yeah, this one here, 2009. Never heard anything off of this album before. Uh, but I do recognize the album art. I've known of these guys for quite a long time. Like, heard their name be talked about and everything like that. Uh, but I've never checked at, uh, never checked out any of their albums. Let me see. Shadow and Slide I liked last April. Last, last April, actually. It's been like a year and a half. Um, I don't even remember that song, so... Uh, yeah, I basically am going in here completely new. Uh, they kind of did what Void of Vision did, but a lot sooner because the Void of Vision Hyper Days wasn't that old. Um, I think Silent Planet also did a Redux album of The Night God Slept, and that is incredible. I personally really like Redux albums. Um, but this one, they added on just like Void of Vision did. They put a bunch of, um, a bunch of features on here with other bands. Because the original doesn't have any of these bands on it, of course. Uh, we got Current, Silent Planet, Carnifex, which is insane. Uh, After the Burial. I've heard of Impending Doom. I've maybe heard of Bleeding Through. Uh, August Burns Red, awesome. Our Last Night, of course, I know. The Word Alive, I know. And Fit for a King, I know. So there's only two bands on here. Uh, that I don't think I've heard before so this is insane uh, really crazy features here but I've never heard the original so anybody on uh, YouTube watching this definitely let me know if I should check out the original wait what do you mean like the sound quality or you just don't like like what it sounded like like you didn't like it because you YouTube will like really compress sound sometimes especially if you listen to it like within an hour of it coming out the HQ will even be lower it's crazy <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, I'm interested in it. I, I feel like I maybe should have listened to the first one first. I guess it doesn't really matter which order you listen to it necessarily. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm just going to press play on here because I don't exactly know what's going on. I'm pretty sure they're just straight up metalcore. I think they're like an OG metalcore band, I believe. Just straight up old school metalcore. Yeah, metalcore. Let's start it out with Silent Planet. I'm assuming this the bands mean the vocalist so this is featuring garrett russell i don't think any of these have the whole uh the whole band in it so garrett russell we got um uh brian Weil, one of the best vocalists in the game in my opinion but anyway let's do it Ooh. no lyrics available sadly It sounds really good. I can tell it's older just by the way the riffs are and everything. I like the reverb on the clean vocals. That's Garrett, right? He sounds very different. He's doing the, a completely different vocal technique than he normally does. That sounds weird. Sounds good. Oh, nice. Solid classic breakdown, dude. It's 
it's cool because it sounds old, but the production is very modern. I love it. God, I really feel like I should have listened to the original because I want to know what it sounds like really bad. Oh, we got a rough out of carrot. <laughs> Fucking dog barking. I can already hear August Burns Red is gonna fit so well into this. Oh. Whoa. Some tunnel scream into some. That was cool. Uh, so 2009. It's tripping me out. I love it. Okay, Currents, Brian Wilde, let's do it. Top tier vocalist. I'm gonna turn it up. I like it a lot. I feel like I know exactly what this the old one sounds like. Like I can tr like translate it in my mind to sound older. Oh, I love his vocals. Sounds great. It's so cool, dude. Nice. <laughs>
fade out. Wow. That was really good. I wasn't expecting so much clean vocals out of Brian, but I, dude, his vo his scream, his fucking, I'm simping right now, dude. I don't give, a, I don't even give a fuck. But <laughs> actually, so good. I think I think that fit the track really well. Yeah, I really want to hear the original. Like it's kind of bugging me. Um, I mean, I I love Redux albums because it's kind of like giving the band a chance to like show off like what they were trying to do back then. They just didn't have enough resources for like a really good mix you know it's like their debut album or something and um like this is what they were trying to do you know that's the, this is what was in their head when they were trying to make it it's it's really cool to me at, at least uh, architects come on we we need daybreaker we need hollow crown remastered what are you guys doing especially hollow crown come on bleeding through Yeah, I saw the Amity Afflictions doing that. Definitely checking that out. I only know two songs off that album, but I love those songs to death. Really nostalgic. Holy shit. That was just deathcore. Oh, this is hitting me with some nostalgia right now. That chorus, oh, that was nostalgia. Woo! Holy fuck. This is heavier than I thought it would get. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, this chorus is hitting some sort of nostalgia. It's reminding me of something. Riffs are going off on this album, too. Carnifex slaps. Love Carnifex. Haven't checked them out in a, in a while. I don't even know what they're up to. Dead in my arms is 10 out of 10. Slow death, 10 out of 10. The drums sound so good.
Helm, you're late. You missed some fucking bangers, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I love this shit. This one's really good. I'm curious on, like, what are the most popular songs off the original. Of course, the one I'm on is the least popular on the entire album. How mu how many times does that happen to me? I mean, literally. I just love the most un the least popular ones. I don't know. How does this have the least amount of plays on the original? Oh, that slapped. They haven't missed at all on this. The bleeding through vocal feature at first was like kind of iffy for me. I think it's only because like the microphone quality is different. You can hear the difference. It just kind of was like weird for a second, but it actually was incredible. They haven't, they haven't missed. This is really good. Oh! Title track, here we go. With After the Burial. I could have sworn I had some like songs by them. What? America's Heartland. Got emo real quick. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, these breakdowns are fucking awesome.
Oh shit. For 2009, that's so sick. No, literally. Currents is like... Oh shit. What the fuck? Damn, that sounds really cool. Fucking brutal, dude. Do you know bleeding through? The guitar on this song is great. Holy shit, man. The vocals, dude. Yeah, it said Bleeding Through started like 20, I mean 2003 or something like that. They've been 2002, they've been around a long time. The Place I Feel Safest is one of the best metalcore albums ever. Currents is like top tier. Dude, these songs sound so good. The breakdowns are insane, too. Like, they're straight up out of 2009, definitely. Because, um, obviously, it came out in 2009. But a lot of bands back then had more, way more simple breakdowns. These guys, like, they're going crazy with these breakdowns. Like, I need to hear the original. Like, if the breakdowns are, like, exactly the same, which I assume they are, that's insane. One of the songs, I think it was the Carnifex one. Ooh, it might have been... Oh, God, I don't even remember which one it was. But what, one of the breakdowns was actually crazy. Like, for 2009, I was like, yo, if that's, like, exactly the same one for one, just with, you know, different production, different recording, everything like that, like, that is really good for back then. All right, Tides with August Burns Red. I'm really excited for this. I think August Burns Red will fit perfectly onto this.
Already sounds like August Burns Red, man. Literally just August Burns Red. Constellations is beautiful. Damn, that ended so abruptly. That was an insane breakdown at the end, man. All right, our, our last night. Everyone knows our last night. <laughs> Astronaut in the ocean. Nope, everyone please pretend that you didn't see that, okay? Please, please, please. I've never listened to any of their albums. I like their covers though. Should have had all these sykes on blessing with a curse, man. What the hell? Give him a follow.
I didn't know Arles. Oh. Fuck. Oh. I honestly didn't even know that our last night had original music. I'm gonna be honest. I thought they just came out of nowhere. Um. No, that scream was insane. That was such a good breakdown. These breakdowns are so crazy, though. Like, for 2009, like, I keep saying that. I'm just like, I've... they're really crazy, man. It might just be the production making them way heavier. I guess old breakdowns slapped this hard. They just, the production's older. But uh, post-hardcore, if their first albums are post-hardcore, I might check them out because I really like post-hardcore. But I think I've seen this album art. Even the Oak Island one, which is hilarious, because I just think of the TV show, looks vaguely familiar. But if it's if it's post-hardcore, I'm kind of interested in that. All right, Porcelain Wings with the Word Alive. I like the Word Alive. Uh, the recent stuff doesn't get me quite as much. I don't think I've heard really any of their recent stuff. What is this? Oh, I kind of remember liking this. I only listened to a couple songs off of it, I think, and then I added the whole thing to my playlist. Um, but I like Dark Matter. That's the only album I've heard from them in full. They had some bangers, though. A couple bangers that came... Yeah, like... Uh, Monomania was really good. There was another one. Misery is good, yeah. I haven't checked them out since, like... When was that? Since, like, 2020. Yeah, I don't think I've listened to them since 2020. Hmm. And I haven't heard this whole album either. I just gave it all, like, back then. Anyway, let's listen to it. Really good vocalist in the word alive. Oh. Love the riffs. Love the old riffs. This is a feel-good riff right here. Yo, that came out of nowhere.
good vocalist. Incredible vocalist. All right, forget, forgive and forget. Fitford King with uh, Ryan Kirby. Awesome vocalist as well. Literally only two bands on here that I didn't really know. The rest of them I'm a fan of. Well, I guess three after the burial, but I've I've known of them for so long. I can't believe I don't have any liked things. I know I know something off this album. I know I do. I'm very confused on why I don't have any after the burial like Production sounds so good, man. On the drums, especially. Vocals sound really good, too. And the basses come out every once in a while, and it sounds really good. Especially earlier on on the album. It's so emo every once in a while, I love it. Oh! What a great way to end that. And I think that was the first single that they released, just looking at the numbers here. And you said you've listened to the original of that one, so that's probably one of the most popular on that album, I would assume, right? Final song. Oh yeah, 13 million. Wow, that's like... That's like, yeah, definitely the biggest on the album. Holy shit. That was really fucking good. That was such a good Redux album, man. And I think the, the features, in my opinion... <clears throat> fit really well bleeding through was the only one that was a little weird mostly because of the uh the mic difference but i think all of them like really worked well but that was perfect because i could literally hear that it was you know from 2009 but it sounded so good with modern production and i would assume that they kept it all pretty pretty much the same like vocally and everything or at least tried to um because the 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 choruses the clean choruses sound super emo probably like what they do on the original one um so yeah i think that was like fucking really solid i really liked that album covers a really cool new version of that older one um i don't know that was that was really good i need to hear the original like i really really want to hear it i'm gonna listen to this album a couple more times over the next you know couple days or something um and then i'll have to check out the original at some point the currents one was really really good 
Architect with Currents. Arms of the Messiah was really, really good. Title Track was great. Harlot's Breath was really fucking good. Tides was really good. Straight up, it was just a fucking August Burns Red song. Uh, Blessing with uh, Blessing with a Curse was really good. I think at the end it got kind of heavy out of nowhere. Fucking slapped. Porcelain Wings slapped. Word Alive, of course, really good. But that last song, man, damn. Garrett, I'm going to have to re-listen to Garrett's feature because he sounded very different than... Like, I, th I think I've only heard him on Silent Planet. I think he did a song with Fit for a King when they did that split EP thing. Um, but I've never heard Garrett's vocals like that. Like, I could rec I could recognize that it was Garrett because he has a super unique voice. Um, and his singing sounded really good. But I've never heard Garrett do that voice. It was so high-pitched. It was kind of similar to the Miss May I of vocalist. Um, it fit the song really well. It really did. It just sounded very weird to me because I've never heard him do that before. But it still sounded really good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to add this to my library for sure. I think I followed them. Yeah, I followed them. And yeah, I'm interested in it. I'm excited to listen to that original one. I have a feeling of what it sounds like, of course. But I'm still really curious on like the vocal change because this was over 10 years ago so the the vocalist that's in miss may i i'm assuming it's the original guy it's still the same guy i don't actually know um but i'm assuming his vocals are like way better and everything like that you know what i mean because it's been so long but yeah i'm just very curious about it that's all G great album